We're here. And I can say we, because we finally got Chris back. We are here. On, on the show. We haven't done an unboxing with Chris in a hot minute. Yeah. Like, it's been a while. I mean, whatever floats your boat, right? Huh, that's kind of ironic. Ironically, we're looking at boats today. We're looking at boats. So we have the brand spanking new Recoil 2s from Pro Boat. Um, we have the Shreddy version, and Chris went with the Heat Wave. Heat Wave. So down in the comments, once we get these open, tell us which one's your favorite, because I know which one's my favorite, and obviously Chris likes the Heat Wave more. I like both. So these are going to be the brand new brushless 26 inch self writing uh, Pro Boat Recoil 2s. So they do have a whole bunch of new things now in the new Recoil 2. Yeah. Uh, which is better than the first gen recoil and I can tell you the first thing that's much better than the first gen recoil is the color schemes Yes, I really like the self-writing feature too. The thing is the older pro boats use that hollow hole in the boat on lots of them to do the self-writing Didn't really turn out to be a very good idea These use a weight that's actually on the end of the motor So when it's upside down the force from the throttle on that weight is gonna flip the boat over So it's like kind of like counterweight system. Exactly Or it's a flywheel. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. So let's open them up oh. and see what we get in the box. Which one's mine? Uh, I think well, mine is mine. One. Yeah, I, I think I put yours in front of you. So um, I'll open this one because I've already opened the box. So also two to three cell capable. Yep. 100 amp speed controller. Dynamite. So we got everything out. It was way less hectic. Yes. To, to get just everything on the counter. Yes. So this is what's included. What kind of radio is that, Aaron? So this is a Horizon Hobby um, radio. Um, pretty basic, yep. nothing really crazy, on off. It's got your um, adjustments on top, which is still very nice. You got your throttle direction and steering as well. Yeah, yeah, you dual rates and trim. Yeah. So nothing crazy. Four double A's, bottom loading. The nice part is spectrum. Included. Yeah, I thought they were spectrum batteries, but they weren't spectrum batteries. Also Horizon brand batteries. Um, actually, they're TC Best. TC Best. TC Best brand batteries. <laughs> yeah. You do, however, get a spectrum. 3S 3200 smart battery, which is 30C. pretty good, yeah. Super, super small. I see three connector on it too. And a USB charger. And it looks like it uses uh, USB to USB-C. And then you got your battery plug-in and a balance port there. Yeah, really Which nothing. is actually very cool. It's a two amp charger. So you're looking at about an hour, hour and a half-ish yeah, half, yeah. charge times. So it hasn't too major, but super, super basic. So getting onto the boat, First impressions. We're not getting onto the boat because these boats cannot hold people. True. But first impressions are like way more stealth. Yeah. Like way more stealth. Yeah, sleek. And then bright and in your face. Yes. I don't know if the camera picks it up. The one thing about the box is. It doesn't show the green very much. Yeah, it's way more like it looks blue. More blue. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. all the pictures on her eyes look a lot more blue. So hopefully the camera picks this up. This definitely is not blue. It's very teal or turquoise. It's just blue, not. It's not very blue. But uh, getting into the back side of the boat, you do get a basic um, little polycarbonate, polycarbonate stand. stand. Yeah. The one thing I will say, both of the ones you pulled out uh, did have this essentially like foam foam padding. Not very wrong. well. Uh, and it was all off. And we could fix Chris's, but we couldn't fix this one. So we'll have to get some like weather stripping tape and uh, redo those. So that was the one thing that we did notice. But on the back side of the boat, uh, you're going to get your essentially steering and trim tabs here that are all aluminum. You can actually bend these down and get the boat to have the attitude that you want. Mm -hmm. The rudder is going to have a nylon breakaway bolt. So if you do hit the rudder on something in the water, that nylon bolt's going to break. Instead of pulling any of the hardware on these aluminum uh, rudder essentially pieces, pulling them out of the boat and having to replace the hull. So super cheap, inexpensive option to replace. Uh, you are going to have a nice boot or grommet uh, on the back side of the steering. So no water is going to get in that way. And you are going to get a steel prop out of the box as well. Aluminum. It's aluminum? Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Cast Very aluminum. nice prop. Yeah. Yeah. Cast though. But I mean, yeah. it's still going to hold up a lot better than a plastic one for sure. And I mean, I think everyone's kind of doing the Das Voda props oh, yeah. on these ones. Um, so sharpened and balanced seems to be the route that everyone's going. And this one has unlimited speed. That's what it says on the side. Up to 35 miles an hour. That's uh, unlimited up 35 miles an I, hour. Is what I, I saw... Say. I saw a lot of people were doing with the GNS, so the Sky RC Performance Analyzer, oh, yeah. Yeah. about 35 to 38. Yeah, which on, is on awesome for both the size. Right? Yeah. So 26 inch, pretty good size, got some decent weight to it. 
Um, you are going to have these four thumb screws, which holy crap, Chris is like way ahead of the game here. So there also is a piece of foam on here. So if you do run the chance that you don't get those thumb screws correct and this comes flying off, that isn't going to sink to the bottom of the, the ocean for you. Yeah, way Let's nicer. The one thing I did notice right away when you pulled yours, your canopy off, was there's a really nice seal now. Yeah, very nice foam along the whole bottom. And then there's also one other thing on top. So really nice seal. You don't have to run tape. We always do recommend it yes. just to keep water out. Um, but yeah, let's get into the, the insides of the boat. So you're getting a Spectrum uh, Outrunner and it is a 2300 kV and it is a 4335 size. You're gonna get, like Chris said, 100 amp speed control. Yeah, water -cooled. So water-cooled speed control, water-cooled motor plate. Mm -hmm. um, and the nice part is servo is super easily accessible. It is gonna be a Probo branded servo. Mm -hmm. um, so you may wanna change that. Um, if, if you want, it's totally up to you. And then this is where the battery goes in, just a basic Velcro strap, and there's two ridge stops on both ends of that battery tray, so your battery's not flopping around. And they do have a lot of foam inside the hull as yes. well. Um, it almost looks like a pretty good foam pool noodle. Uh, all stainless steel harbor, so you won't have to worry about any of the internals of the boat rusting out or doing anything like that. But yeah, I mean, honestly, for the price point they come in at, with a self-writing, with all of that good stuff, pretty solid little boat. So here in Canada, they're about 499 bucks yep. uh, plus tax. So not bad. I mean, it's a little bit more expensive than a 24 inch blast, but you are getting brushless. You're getting a much better performing boat, a better handling boat, a self-writing boat, yeah. which is, I mean, I own a couple boats now and like my M41 isn't self-writing. I had to go swimming a couple times for it. So this is definitely going to make the stress level of boating a little, <laughs> a little bit lower. Go and have some fun with it. That was honestly my next question. Do you push your M41 just knowing the simple fact that it, if it does flip, like you are getting wet or you're waiting a lot of time for it to come short? I'll push it in straight lines. Like that boat handles very sharp. And that's the easiest way you're going to flip it is on hard cornering. Yeah. But like, yeah, it's definitely a play with the wind type thing. Do your speed runs downwind, downwind all the time. Yeah. Because that boat has almost come off a couple times now. So. But I guess at least if you're downwind, it'll eventually come back to you. Exactly. Right? So there you go. Well, these are the brand new recoil twos. Um, so Chris picked his up on uh, one of the next videos. We'll have we'll have this one running. Uh, I think I might have to go with the Shreddy though, buddy. I think, I think it's, it's kind of my color race. schemes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's see what means. There you go. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Chris, for being in another one of our videos. Yeah, it's been yeah. a while. You've made a whole bunch of content, but you haven't been like I haven't been here. front yeah. face in the camera. I've been there, but not here. Correct. It's bang on. So thank you everyone so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Throw down in the comments which one you prefer, the heat wave or the shreddy. Which one floats your boat? Correct. So thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye! Bye!